and gals, Rick Nine G here. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope your day is going wonderful. We're going to be looking at three Farming Simulator 17 fact sheets. Fact sheet number four, number five, and number six. Now, if you don't know, go ahead and take a look at my first video. This is, of course, video two in the series. We're just going to basically summarize all of the pieces of equipment that are found on here. Hopefully, we can find some nice, juicy tidbits that we will enjoy, and you can pass on to your friends and family. Now, I'm just going to go through the cards um, and see what you guys think or any comments please put them down below I would really appreciate them all right let's look over here number one the Deutz Fahr series 9 tractor now this is noted as euros as you can see but I'm in the US dollars I'm gonna use euros but if I happen to say dollars you know what I'm talking about I know it's not one-to-one -one conversion but anyway it gets complicated let's just keep this simple all right so it costs 250,000 euros to buy this up uh, and 350 a day which isn't bad it's it's pretty reasonable you have to know that this is an upper level tractor it's not the most expensive by any means but it is in the medium high range I would say um, the power range now this is something that we talked about in the last video you're gonna have power options and what that means when you buy a tractor you're gonna be able to pick the lower power model or the higher power model and I think you'll even be able to in, when you have the tractor to upgrade to the higher if you have the lower so this tractor comes standard with a 217 kilowatt basically motor it produces that many kilowatts and 295 horsepower now you can upgrade to the 336 horsepower and also to the 247 kilowatts I'm guessing they go in pairs so you can't mismatch now if we look at the speed the maximum speed of course it shows you both kilometers and miles per hour so 63 and 39 miles per hour respectively fuel capacity is 655 liters that's pretty cool um, it's pretty standard I mean it's 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 a good fuel range that's pretty good I think some of the combine harvesters have like in the thousands like 1500 somewhere in there so this is pretty good customizable what will you be able to customize and change well of course the engine we did see that you have two choices for this tractor and the wheels now an uh, an example of that is in the main picture up there of the tractor you see four wheels quad wheels and I don't know exactly why you would use that let me know in the comments I would love to know again I'm not a farmer uh, but I'm guessing maybe more grip or be able to turn better things like that um, better handling and so forth but you can see the standard wheels to the right and the wide I'm guessing uh, are probably even thicker than that and then the twin you, you get the double tire so that's pretty cool now let's go right down below over here the Lemkin Gigant or the Gigant 10 this is a cultivator look how big it is it is 12 meters across that's pretty big you're gonna have to drop down 78,000 euros to buy this maintenance is about 20 euros a day which is just fairly okay it's a reasonable price I'd say in order to pull this you need to have a tractor with at least 221 kilowatts of production power and 300 horsepower so the one on top would work um, you will see some other tractors that are very basic very inexpensive that won't pull this so just know that operating speed of course when you pull it normally just uh, basically transporting it you can go pretty quickly up to the tractor that you have but in this case when you're using it you can only do 17 kilometers or 10 miles per hour um, when you are actually operating it so that's pretty cool Eight five again we have a tractor paired up with an equipment a piece of equipment down there and let's start with the tractor we have a new Holland T8 series beautiful blue low tractor there now let's look at this this one drops you 262,000 so you know similar price range kind of what we were looking at maintenance will almost be 400 a day that's that's pretty spiky that's that's pretty high up there but hey if you want a good tractor you gotta use it now over here of course 235 kilowatts of power to 320 you have an option of what you want to choose I'm assuming the lower kilowatt and horsepower is a cheaper tractor and then the other one you're gonna have to pay more obviously so 235 to 320 and 320 horsepower to 435 so you get to choose one or the other of course paired off how you see them maximum speed is 50 kilometers an hour or 30 in US increments 
Fuel capacity, 651, pretty standard, good amount of gas you can carry on there. Now again, you can also customize the engine and wheels. We've seen the engine options. The wheels, a little bit different. I'm really excited about this one. Let's pay attention because you definitely see standard wheels as an option, which I believe is probably the one on the top. The wide, of course, will be wider wheels. Now look at this, crawler track. That is what we've, is, isn't that tire track, guys and gals? Let me know down below, but I'm pretty sure it's like rear tire tracks. That'll be amazing. And I think that's better for grip and things like that, handling and, and doing certain things. So I'm, I'm really interested in being able to have different wheel setups. Also wheel weights, I'm guessing that makes the the tires heavier to be able to sink lower to be able to get more traction right that is awesome that was not an option on the previous tractor so i think that would be a good addition all right let's look down below at the horse pronto 9 dc now this is a sewing machine price almost 100 grand 100 grand euros maintenance is 260 a day wow look that is almost half of our tractor up there I mean that's a lot for cedar but remember this is an awesome sewing machine I don't think it cultivates at the same time but it holds a lot it holds 6,000 liters of basically seed whatever you want to use you need to use a tractor that's at least 199 kilowatts and 270 horsepower so the one above would definitely work in these circumstances of course you would need to get um, yes as I was saying a tractor that fits that so be aware of that or else you just wasted that money operating speed 20 kilometers an hour when you're using it of course or 12 miles an hour working width is nine meters and of course you can fill it with all these different things i can't really make out a lot of the little icons but i do see wheat barley canola i believe sunflower grass and maybe corn or that might be soybeans. I think that's really soybeans. I, 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 I'm I guessing just because it looks like a pea pod formation. So I'm really excited about these two pieces of equipment as well. Really excited about this, guys. You know about it. You're excited about it. The Massey Ferguson 5600 series. Now, why do I like this tractor specifically? Because of the photos. Look at what the photos are showing us. The different types of tires. And we're going to look at this in a second, of course. This is a tractor, 87,000 euros to buy it, 120 euros a day to maintain it. Power range, on the lower side, this is a lower end tractor, probably not the lowest, but in the low to medium range, uh, probably, you know, not the cheapest tractor, but the next one up that you'd buy. 77 kilowatts to 96, and 105 horsepower to 130, so pretty, pretty bare bones, pretty affordable for anyone. Max speed. 40 kilometers an hour and 25 miles an hour fuel capacity there's also a a choice there apparently 160 liters or 180 so i think you can choose what you want your tractor to be and that'll change the price range i'm guessing also to this tractor you can a attach a front loading attachment so that'll help with bailing and scooping up uh, i'm assuming like crates and things like that that'll be amazing Engine, of course, you can customize. And your wheels. Now look at the wheels above the larger picture. Those are, of course, the, the narrow wheels. And then the standard would be on the right, so you can see the difference there. I would love if you farmers out there who know what the difference would be, like what's the benefit of narrow wheels? Do you turn better? I'm assuming maybe the thicker ones grip better. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Now we look down here. Excuse me for the mispronunciation, but is this the Carrel Nicolas Stila 460? This is a sprayer, and apparently this is a really, really wide width. Look at this, 28 meters long to be able to get those huge fields. 220 euros a day. Required power, you need at least 70 kilowatts and 95 horsepower. So the one above the 5600 series would be perfect for this. Operating speed 12 kilometers an hour not too fast or seven miles an hour and of course you can fill it with about 4,600 liters of fertilizer and you can fill it with fertilizer. That's it Let me know what you guys and gals think I am so excited for all of these When two or three of these fact sheets come out I'm just gonna make a video on it so that hopefully I think giant said that they would pretty much put out all the equipment 
every couple days I would put out these fact sheets so just so you know we want to keep up to date with all of the changes if you have not subscribed go ahead and do that for me it would help me out greatly and let you know when new video comes out don't forget guys and gals always stay positive always better yourself and most importantly be hopeful